All right, we are driving along the Seward Highway, and this stretch of water here is known as the Turnigan Arm. It says here the world's second greatest recorded earthquake wreaked havoc on the Turnigan Arm on March 27th, 1964. Subsidence caused such severe damage to the town and portage was abandoned. Girdwood and the highway and the railroad were relocated. Everywhere you go around here, you see these signs about the dangerous water and mudflats. And what's so dangerous about these mudflats is that when the tide goes out, this is all exposed and the water's gone, obviously. But if you walk out there in the mudflats and you get stuck in the mudflats, it's almost impossible to continue moving. And then when the tide comes through, you're stuck and the water's coming up and that's gonna be your problem. So that's why they have these signs all over the place. So be careful of these mudflats if you're ever out here. Don't go walking around in the water. I'm at the uh, south end of Seward, and this is called Resurrection Bay. So all of this area right here is a tidal area. You can see the, the water line here, it's still wet, so definitely not somewhere that you want to hang out for very long. All right, it's dinner time. I'm gonna check out this Ray's Diner. It's right here on the water, right on the uh, marina. That's some amazing halibut, Alaskan halibut fishing ships right there at Ray's. All these are the cruise ships that go out to the fjords and do the tours of the glaciers. The season is just about to start here in the next couple days, so I'm a little bit early. The clouds are right there on the top of the mountain and this one's the peak of the mountain is kind of cresting over this cloud that's sitting right there it's been there for a little while amazing views i got some kind of fog or clouds rolling in uh, the bay over there so these boats right here I, I believe that they just drop you off to whatever island you want to go to and then they pull up to shore this opens up and you just walk right on out and drop you off and then they come back and get you whenever you're ready to go. I just finished an amazing halibut fish and ships dinner right at the marina. And I've got this little cabin that's right here on the water. This thing was 150 bucks. It's still off peak season. But it's got a little kitchenette, bathroom, the bed right here with the windows overlooking the bay. And you can't rent a hotel for 150 bucks anywhere else nowadays. So I figured why not? Let me introduce you to my friends out here. The fire pit. I will put the uh, link in the description in case anybody else is ever out here in Seward wants to rent one of these cabins but uh this is what they look like that's about all you want or need out here too these are limpets and you can actually eat this portion of it right here and it's really high in protein it's a good survival food if you ever need to find food and you were stranded out here on one of these islands some people like to eat it with their pasta put this in their uh and they're limpid pasta. I'll try a little bite right now. No, I'm not gonna try it. Too many birds out here pooping everywhere. All right guys, although it's still light out, it's late and I hope you all enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one.